Scaled Figures Area Level 2. Write out and solve the scale factor equation. Do not skip steps. Box final answer. The right triangle below is dilated by a scale factor of 3. Find the area of the dilated right triangle. Figures are not necessarily drawn for scale. So the first order of business for us is we actually need to figure out the area of this right here. Area of a triangle is going to be equal to base multiplied by height divided by 2. And when we're talking base and height, we're looking for the two sides that are horizontal and vertical that make this right angle. So in this case, I would say that my area is equal to 10 multiplied by 24 and then divided by 2. So area of this one is 240 divided by 2, which is 120. So right here, where it says the area of the pre-image, I guess I should have done that in blue, I'm going to substitute 120 right here. Now the scale factor, it's pretty simple. They tell us that the scale factor is 3 right here. But the only trick to that is when we're dealing with the scale factor, we actually have to square it. So when I go over here and I plug it in here, my scale factor is 3, I actually need to square it. And the simple explanation for that is area has two dimensions. So the scale factor needs to be multiplied by itself. So I have 120 times 9 squared should be equal to the area of the image. And then in this case, I'm just going to use A to represent um, the area of the image. So let's simplify the equation. So this is going to be 9 squared. So I'd have 120 multiplied by 9 is equal to A, which represents area of the image. So then it's just 120 times 9. So let's see that. 120 multiplied by 9, uh, 1080 is equal to the area of the image. And let's see how we did. There you go. So pretty much the same thing. In fact, their equation is identical to ours. Notice that their formula is 1 half base times height. I put BH over 2, however you want. But I guess we should box our final answer, though. All right, let's see if I can give you one more example. All right, here's a slightly different one. Same instructions. Scaled figures, area level 2. Write out and solve the scale factor equation. Do not skip steps. Box, final answer. So we're looking for the area of the pre-image multiplied by the scale factor squared is equal to the area of the image. All right, let's see. It says a triangle with an area of 123 units squared is the image of the triangle. I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to take that value. That's actually going to go over here on the right side of the equation because it's stated right here. This is the image of the triangle. And on the right side, we're looking for the area of the image. So in goes 123 for that. It states that it was dilated by a scale factor of 3 halves. So over here, where it says scale factor, I'm going to go ahead and write 3 over 2. Again, but do, remember when we're dealing with area, it's length times width. That's two dimensions, so it's 3 over 2 squared. And then when we're done, we're going to find out the area of the pre-image. And in this case, I don't know what the pre-image, so I could put A or P or whatever you want to do. I'm just going to put A for that. So in other words, it's area of the pre-image multiplied by 3 halves squared equals 123. And that's kind of the basic setup. So let's simplify this. So I would have A multiplied by 9 fourths is equal to 123. The quickest way to get rid of a fraction is to multiply by its reciprocal. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 4 ninths on each side. And that's going to cancel and I'll have A, which stands for the area of the pre-image, is going to be really equal to 123 times 4 and then divide by 9. So 54 point, it looks like it's going to be 0.6 repeating. Let's see what the instruction said. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So I actually didn't get enough decimals. 
So I'm going to put 54.66, and it's going to go forever. So if I was rounding to the nearest tenth, that's going to be this spot right here. I look to the right. Well, it's a six. This is going to round up to a seven. So I'm going to put the area of the pre-image is approximately, again, switching from equal to approximately 54.7 square units. And I think that's pretty much it. Once you have your skill factor equation, it's pretty easy to solve for the unknown. So let's put in 54.7. And we're good to go. Notice that they divided by 9 fourths, which isn't wrong. But typically when you're dealing with fractions is you multiply by the reciprocal. So this 123 divided by 9 over 4 is the same as 123 times 4 over 9. But anyways, hopefully you found these two examples helpful.